So Titans, it is your turn. You're finally gonna get another video after the first one that I did with Dune Marchers. I do apologize, but a lot of people were asking for different exotics. Uh, truth be told, I still haven't done the the Boots of the Assembler and Knucklehead Radar. So between those videos, I actually have my, I might have a lot more Titans asking for more things. But if you are a Titan and you have not seen anything, ask me what you want. Tell me what you want. What exotic are you looking for? I will make that video because from all of these videos, it's literally been commenters just asking for specific exotics. So Titans, if you want one specifically, let me know and I'll do it for you because you guys have a lot of cool exotics and I will be working on some more Titans uh, exotics. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe it does help. A huge portion of people that come to my channel are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like the video, share with your homies. If you actually like the video enough to actually subscribe, that's even more appreciated. But other than that, let's just get into the video. So this is Lorelei Splendor. It's literally one of the coolest exotics in the game right now. Not even talking about the actual gimmick of it, which is you just don't die. I'm actually talking aesthetically. It looks really cool. I really like how it's really leaning into the fire theme with the fire horns, I guess you would say. The glow on the face is super cool let's talk about that actually uh as you guys can see from different shaders that are being showcased uh you will actually have different glows on the actual glow on the face which is really cool i really really like it for me the best one would probably be abyssinian gold just because it gives the red glow to it although the shader that i actually have on all of these mostly all of these are gonna have an orange glow but just be aware that abyssinian gold has a really good orange glow to it uh, another really good one is Carminica. Carminica has a really good orange glow as well. And the reason I'm leaning, um, telling you about orange glows is because it goes really well with the fire on the head. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As for shaders, it actually shaders really well. There isn't a piece that isn't unshaderable. The only problematic piece, I guess you would say, is the fire itself. It's gonna be hard to do stuff with that sh with with the fire because it's so pronounced. But again, if you're using Lorelei Splendor, you're going to be leaning heavy on the fire. So as for the example set, so let's just get into it. I'm using Crucible Vermilion for the shader because it gives a really good burnt steel look to the actual armor pieces. Not only that, but the actual glow is orange or it could be a flickering orange, which I still want to make the Crucible Vermilion video, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I'm really busy with pieces of exotic that people have been asking for so again for the gauntlets we're using the virtuous gauntlets a because it has a really cool glow in one of the gauntlets but the shoulders actually are really cool because it looks the fins at the top actually make it look like it's coming together at the back which i really like uh for the chest piece we're using solstice plate specifically because it looks like it's erupting from flame or it's breaking from fire within it looks really cool definitely one of the best sets for the titans if especially if they want to have like a set like this where fire is just erupting from everywhere for the boots we're using the radiant breaker greaves this is one of my favorite greaves in the game for the titans just because it's very simple to the point but it, it's also very solar themed obviously and i really like that for the bond or for the mark we're actually using finalis iron mark this one is probably one of my favorite marks in the game and it's not nothing too crazy it's literally just a really long dick towel that's really it nothing too crazy nothing over the top it's just it's something a warrior would use in my opinion so all these pieces really go together well i think the only odd one out is virtuous the virtuous gauntlets i think that's the only one where it's like you could do something better for sure if i'm being completely honest you could probably use the Radiant Breaker uh, arms and that would look even better. It's just that I personally didn't want to combine two pieces from the same set. Not only that, I actually use those arms in a, in a different example set, which might as well get, in, get into that one now. For the next example set, we're using the Radiant Breaker gauntlets uh, paired with the refurbished black armory specifically because that actually has a really good orange glow to the faceplate. Uh, for the chest piece, we're using the Solstice Plate Majestic because it looks amazing with it. The Solstice gra Graves for the boots also look really cool because it gives off that feeling of like the fires coming out from within the armor pieces. 
and then the Tusk Allegiance mark, which is I don't need really to explain why I'm using this. I think it looks really good. Personally, this looks like something a warrior would use. Like I look like I just got out of a battlefield, like a gladiator battlefield. So for me, I really fuck with this piece a lot. It's probably my more favorite set, even more than the other one, just because each piece is doing something that is hitting that that sweet spot for me. Even even the Tusk Allegiance mark is so good in this piece because a the boots are actually not symmetrical which is actually pretty good for this portion because even the chest piece isn't symmetrical and i feel like the mark is really lending itself to that because as you guys can see the mark it's only on one side the other side's kind of bare which is lending itself to that i also really like the cloth on the chest piece because again it just everything is slowly hinting at like this is a warrior this this dude fights or this lady i should say because my titan's a girl uh she fights in the gladiator arenas and shit so for me easily this is probably one of the best looking or titans i've ever made period I will say the sh shader choice might be a little bit better. Like I could probably choose something a little bit better because if we want to get really, really, really technical, the chess piece actually has gold. Uh, if you guys look in the screen right now, I I'll actually show you in real time. The chess piece actually has gold right here on the trim and actually right here. So if you want to be really, really technical, I could try to find a shader that's either white gold or red and white gold, which I don't even think that's possible. Anything with red and gold, you could probably try to fuck with. I'm gonna leave it here because I like it a lot and I don't really care that the gold doesn't uh, match with anything. But for those of you that are finicky, just be aware, just try to find a, a red and gold look and you'd be really good. The only problem is that the helmet has to be orange or it's just gonna look weird because it'll have a different glow than every other piece. So. This is one of my favorite looks for the Titan so far, especially if you're going to be using the Lorelei Splendor. This is this is the look. This is this is my solar uh, Magnus Opus, if you want to would say. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, next one is the casual one. And last but not least, we have the casual look. I've done this look, I think, once or twice in some videos. And I wanted to add this one because sometimes you just don't want to have your Titan look super, super dope or jacked up. You maybe you want your Titan to just look like they just got out of, like, I don't know, just want to walk around in their casuals. And this is what I came up with. I really like it. As you guys can see, I have all different shaders for all of them because I'm an extra fuck. But... For the helmet, we're using Carbon Blood because I really like the fact that the gray is actually on the chest or on the face plate, which mimics really well with the chest piece. Uh, the under jacket, I guess you would say, is gray, but the but the actual uh, what is that called? The sleeveless jacket is actually red, which is really cool. Again, I wanted to mimic the chest piece, the under armor. I wanted to have that for the arms as well, so which is why the arms are actually black, but the arm, armor pieces are actually red. I like this one a lot because it kind of looks like she's wearing a long sleeve shirt. Uh, for the boots, I actually wanted to go with something that was black on the actual pants and red on the, on the shoes. Couldn't find something really, really good. I do think Crucible Metallic is really good but it's the metallic part that I'm not a big fan of. It's just a little too much. So I could probably change that one. But last but not least, we're using the Mark of Cade. Uh, I don't remember what it's called specifically. I'll probably have it right here. But the main reason I'm using this one is A, it's low profile. It's not too much in your face. And I like that the ammo on the side looks really cool with it. So this is definitely one of my favorite pieces. If I were to change anything about this, it would probably be that the the faceplate, the glow is actually white, which again, I've been saying if the if the glow isn't white, it's going to look weird. And yeah, it kind of does look weird in my opinion. At that point, you would probably want to switch to a shader that has orange. Uh, Horizon Blush is a really good shader. Uh, Carminica, I've said before, is a really good shader. And I actually probably will keep it with Carminica because Carminica looks really cool. My only gripe with it is I lose the gray plate, which is why I really like the other one. 
but again there's other there's other pieces that you could be using it's just that i don't want to go through all the shaders because at the end of the day this is not going to be the one that i'm going to be using i'm going to be using specifically the the one before the gladiator one that's the one i'm going to be using for this one because it just looks amazing so titans let me know what you guys think in the comments below i had a lot of fun doing this one because i've been using lorelei splendor a lot uh titans again if you guys want to see any other exotic let me know in the comments below warlock hunters do you, what do you guys want to see next i would love to see what your choice is because i have a few things i've been thinking about doing but again i would take your comments over what i want to do first because my video though my ideas would t would be way faster because i already have what it what i want to do in mind uh i should be doing some shader videos because i do want to do i would i do want to review crucible vermilion because it's a really unique shader and i have not seen a lot of content creators talk about it or go into depth with it because again it's a really unique shader uh not only that i will have some more content here and there uh fashion and otherwise but be safe and i'll see you guys later